Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today is the last day I'm going to be doing all the little touches over at the Victorian and I know how much you guys love it as much as I do so I figured I'd take you guys along. If you're new here my name is Laura Nicholson and I love to do all things homemaking and I'd love it if you would subscribe to my channel. It's totally free and if you're returning it is so great to see you. Okay guys let's get into this beautiful day. One of the first things I wanted to tackle today was getting all the new sheets on this bed. So I ordered all Brook linen sheets for all of these beds and they haven't come yet, but um, we do have uh, my sister and her husband staying here over the weekend. So I wanted to get all fresh sheets on for them. So I'm gonna go ahead and just make all the beds today. I also have like a couple little finishing details. And at the end of this video, I also want to do a little tablescape. I also wanna do, um, in one of the guest bedrooms, I changed out the bed because there was lots of stains. It was our kids bed which I just felt like I wanted to put something nice and new in there so you guys are gonna see all of that today but to get started I'm just gonna put these temporary sheets on here uh, and then we'll come back in here I will refresh all the beds with my Brooklyn and sheets and then we'll do a full home tour I'll show you guys around today a little bit but then I want to do a full home tour and show you guys all the art and all the little pieces around this house I get a lot of questions about it if you're new here um, this is an 1891 Victorian my husband and I redid the entire house in 2017 and then um, well technically it was 2014 to 2017 it took us quite a while to redo it but we've lived here since 2011 um, we moved into this house uh, around January 2011 and then our son was born and we've raised all four of our children here until September when we moved out into a home that was more conducive for a large family. So to get started, I'm just gonna make this bed. Tell us in the comments down below, what are you guys up to this weekend? For this bed, I wanted to add just one more blanket. So I purchased the Casa Luna linen uh, comforters that we have at our house. I love them. I think I told you guys that in the last video, but I wanted to get all of them put onto these beds. That way they have, there's a comforter on top. It's a down comforter, but then I also wanted a secondary one just in case folks got cold. I try to think in this house, I wanna put everything that I would want if I was staying at an Airbnb um, for a month, like the little things you would want. I love a lot of pillows. So each room has six pillows. Um, and then I do have a closet full of extra ones if people decide they wanted more. And then I also have two large blankets on each bed, which people can remove or keep. And then I tuck everything in uh, really nice. I just want to keep everything really beautiful and a wonderful place. I realized when I was redoing this house to turn it into an Airbnb that I treated it more like a hotel and um, had added more amenities to it. I get a lot of comments down below about um, uh, folks who have Airbnbs and how people kind of trash their house and whatnot. With this house, um, it's a minimum stay of 30 days and it's it's pretty expensive to stay here. So um, my hope is that someone who's gonna be living here for a month plus is going to love it and you know treat it like a home and hopefully not have such a high turnover rate with um, more like transient activity in here. Uh, but if not, I'll live and learn through that process, I guess, as we go here. But for the most part, I want it to be a beautiful place that people love and respect and can enjoy this beautiful um, town that we live in. We live in Northern California and I love it here. I love our community. I love the people that live here. And I'm really happy that we have this opportunity to share um, our home as well as our community with people from all around the world. So for the most part, I'm going to keep most of this stuff in here. And again, we'll live and learn through this process together.
So I asked you guys in a previous uh, video some of the amenities you would like to see in a house like this, and a lot of you said sleep sound machines. So I decided to add some earplugs and sleep sound machines to each and every room. That way, if people do want to um, use them, they have them at their disposal. It's a very quiet neighborhood we live in for the most part, but um, there are parades, and in July there's a big uh, music festival that happens literally right in front of our house. So if people want to have, um, maybe if they have a baby or something in here they can turn the sleep sound machines on and be just as comfortable as they would at home so I'm going to add those to each room and please don't hesitate to tell me if there are other things you think we should add to this house for um, folks staying here I do have a couple items for people as they are getting acclimated to the house in the bathrooms but for the most part um, I'm going to leave most of the customization to them but tell us in the comments down below okay so I have this bed done I uh, have another set of sheets coming, but it already has one comforter, but I wanted to add a thicker one. So I did this Casa Luna linen one. We have the same one at my house and I absolutely love it. Um, so I have that, it's kind of like, just in case it gets cold or something. Every room has six bed, or every room has six pillows, uh, new sheets. Um, I know that half of us love the chairs, half of us hate them, but um, they're super, super old antiques. And I, I if I take them down, I don't know where I put them. I have a piece of art that's going there and this table is all done. I did add a um, sleep sound machine to every single room and um, I got the, every room comes with two robes, two sets of slippers, these um, really beautiful sheets and then I have stocked everything, you know, for the first couple days people are here. So that turned out great. And um, I got the fan going on in here. I could probably turn that off. Then in here we have, um, I just added a blanket here, put everyone's towels in here. We have two mirrors coming for in here. Um, this bed, they were supposed to take it out. We will figure that out because the new bed comes on Wednesday. And did I change anything here? No, I did not. Uh, bathroom is super clean that's done and then in here I just added these little topiaries I've got again same setup I put this bedding in every room I just I love it so I figured you guys might and then every room has robe with a set of slippers oh and then the other thing I added in the bathrooms since this room doesn't have its it has its own bathroom right here and over there but it's not like in the room it's not ensuite i added these um and a sleep sound in here so every room has that every room has a tv i think i'm done i think we're going to photograph this and get it up and live um i have a couple things i need to add to the kitchen so we'll head down there but so far the upstairs is done except wednesday we have a new bed coming is really exciting this one is beautiful but it's got my son slept on it and has hot cocoa here and there's a rip somewhere in here let me see where it is i don't know it's just like yeah stains yeah that's no can't have it so i want to get a new bed the new one i'll put a pop a picture in here of it it's beautiful but okay let's head downstairs i'm gonna turn all these lights The next thing I want to do is take care of all the supplies that I purchased for the kitchen. So I got a coffee maker. Um, I was going to get one of the Nespresso's that we have at our house, but I don't know what people's preference are as far as like the pods. And it just felt like a lot of um, maintenance I didn't totally want to deal with. So I just got a normal drip. Um, we also have a drip at our house that I like to use from time to time. And then I also got a toaster and a couple other little things. So I wanted to unpack all of that and get it put away. I also wanted to create kind of like a junk drawer where I could add things like pens, scissors, glue, just like little things you might need. Um, I also put a sewing kit in there just in case. Um, we do have a group coming to stay here for a wedding um, for two whole months. So I wanted to make sure they had that just in case there was a little malfunction. They had that. Uh, as a backup. The other thing I want to do is fully stock underneath the sink so we have all of that ready to go.
I found these little plastic uh, bins at the dollar spot at Target. It was $5 for two of them, and I thought it'd be nice to keep all of the supplies tucked away in here. That way they don't accumulate dust or anything like that. So I just added um, three different types of sponges and everything else I think people might need for as long as they're here. Again, if they run out of things, they can go purchase what they need. Uh, as time goes on, but I want to make sure like the bare minimum is here. Then I found these at the dollar store. So I'm just going to add things like scissors and pens and other little items like that, just in case people find that they need them. Now that I'm done with most of putting all the items away, I wanted to actually clean everything and get a nice little tablescape on these tables for photos. So I'm just gonna put a nice little breakfast tablescape here in the kitchen on this island and then in the dining room, a very simple one on the dining room table. I felt like when I took photos, it just looked really kind of plain. So I'm gonna do that, but then I will put them away prior to guests arriving. That way they don't um, have to worry about putting all this away. So let's get that done. And then I'm also gonna add some more decor around the house. The song playing in the background is making me think about Christmas. Tell me in the comments down below if you guys think I should decorate for Christmas in this house. Even though we won't be here for Christmas, do you think it'd be fun if I still decorated the whole house as long as a guest didn't mind? Um, or rather, they said it was okay. So I thought that'd be kind of a fun thing to do this year. Um, I'm definitely going to do a little fall decor in here as well, just because that's a little more seasonal. Um, but you know, if, if people are interested in doing Christmas, I thought that'd be really fun to have an Airbnb that's fully decorated. Um, so I might do that. I'm definitely thinking about doing Christmas in July, um, a kind of a fun uh, theme for that. So I definitely hope you um, 
guys stick around because I'll be showing you a little video on a cute Christmas in July theme. Uh, uh, I think I'm gonna do the front porch, it's gonna be really pretty, but tell me in the comments down below, do you think I should decorate this house for Christmas? One of the other suggestions was to add a um, guest book. So I decided it'd be fun to add a little camera so people can take photos and add them to the guest book. Um, I will add one of our entire family in there and a little note um, to everybody who stays. I also added some stationery to this and some pens. Once I'm done with all of that, um, I came back a couple days later when the other um, bed arrived and I'm just going to quickly build this. It was very easy to build and I just thought it'd be neat to add something different to this room. The other rooms have beautiful antique beds that are darker so I went with a darker bed but I wanted the bed to actually be a little bit softer. Not that I don't love the wood ones but um, this is a queen bed in this room and I just didn't see any that really spoke to me. Um, I'm on the lookout for a nice antique similar to the ones we have in the other rooms but for now this bed will work just fine and I really like how it has these like little gold touches to it goes really well in that room. So we're going to build that and then I will take you guys around and show you how everything turned out. Now that I finally got all the beds made, all the rooms are pretty much finished, I am going to take you guys around and do a very small little home tour. I do have a full home tour video coming up um, that I will share with you soon, but let's take a look. And we still have Ellie's scratch marks on the door. Give this video a thumbs up if you know what that's about. Okay guys, welcome home.
Thank you guys so much for joining me on this journey of turning our beautiful 1891 Victorian into an Airbnb where we can welcome friends and family from all around the world to enjoy our beautiful community here. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I have so much more coming up, so please don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video real soon. Bye.